In another life, I was a sailor in search of success beyond the ocean. I knew when I could live, but not when I could return. And the only other thing I knew was I wouldn't have had one more wrinkle in my face and I could have suffered the passing of seasons. Because time couldn't have gone by without you. So, we promised we would meet at the dock on the first third day of each month. It doesn't matter if we could have missed it a thousand times and a thousand times more. It doesn't matter if life had tried to drag us to the ends of the earth. Still here, young lady? Once again, you haven't missed the appointment. Because, in the end, we could have made it once. And we could have started again exactly where we had left off. In another life, I was the most industrious of peasants, and I looked at the sun rising and dying every single day of my life. I watched over him, as a father does with his child, while my back was bent to blow a field as green as your eyes. Even though I was facing the most magnificent scenery that nature could offer, the only thought haunting me was the one of your return. And just as you appear around the corner, I repeated to myself, at last, at last, the first to calm me down, the second to enjoy. In another life, I was a young businessman, more a victim than an architect of a career that left me no space other than to dedicate all my success to you. And so, I booked whole restaurants among the most luxurious in the city, just to lead you to believe I was important that thus you were, too. I don't even know if you admire me or just what I represented. But I didn't mind, because in that moment, a moment that I would have made immortal, I was with you. And now, in this life, you shouldn't like any of the things I could give you. In this life, people like me can never have people like you. And I can help imagine a thousand parallel lives in which I would have desired you. In which perhaps I could have had you other lives in which with some flaws, with some mistakes, better or worse, we could have been together. Because 
I have nothing to give you. No castles, masquerades, or luxury cars. But in a normal world, where feelings are everything, all those things are not important. But we live in the world of appearances, in a world of huge dwellings inhabited by little men. I don't have any such things. I carry only the sheets for all the other lives in which I would have wanted you with me, are written. I've been many things because I didn't have a coin for bread, but I had my mind to imagine you. And the only thing I can do is hope one day to meet your gaze again.